Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming a video using the new Rimmel hashtag Insta collection line, some of their products. I am so excited to be filming this because this is going to be like a first impression slash review type of video and also because Rimmel London actually sent me some of their products and I am so beyond ecstatic to be sharing that with you and to be trying some of this out and it's kind of like my first PR package makeup PR package. I did receive some skincare from Vici Canada. But yeah, I am so so excited and if you guys want to see what I got from Rimmel, then just keep on watching. So Rimmel sent me some of their products like mm, maybe f three to four days ago. I don't quite remember, but it came in a box. Well, obviously it came in a box of package. But inside of the box was a bag, which I thought it was kind of funny because I put a bag in a box. But it just came in this sleek black bag and some black tissue wrapping paper and inside as you can see boy oh, the letters blocking it but they sent me some of their products and they gave me this little card and it says hi Jean thanks for reaching out please enjoy some of our favorites from the latest hashtag inside collection can't wait to see what you think best the Rimmel team yes I'm so excited. I've literally only tried one of their products and it was the color correcting palette, but I, I was just too excited. I just want to see. Plus, I didn't have a color corrector thingy, so like, yeah, let's just ignore that. Whoa. Thanks. So, this is the color correcting palette, and as you can see, it, it comes with a green, a peachy orange shade, and a purple shade. The green is for redness. The peachy shade is for under eyes and the purple is for dullness. As you can see, I've tried the green and peachy side and I th I think I like it. I don't know, I didn't really test the longevity of it because I kind of just put it on and took it off right away. But yeah, I'm excited to try it on and this is going to be the first product that I'm using. So this is going to be the first product that I'm using because of course you put your color corrector underneath your foundation and your concealer. I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to try this out. Okay, so we're a little bit more up close and personal. I'm just going to be using a regular little flat concealer brush. It's actually a travel size brush. And I'm going to first go in with the green. It's very whipped, like moussey almost. That's interesting. I got a lot on my brush. The, co the color comes off really, really easily. And let's see how this works. I'm just going to put it on like the areas where I'm really red and where I have pimples, which is sadly a lot. Okay, it's really pigmented. That was with one dip. I'm going to dip it again. I'm going to be dipping into the peachy shade now and using that underneath my eyes. It's the same texture as the green one. And that is all I'm going to use from the Rimmel uh, Insta Concealing Correct Palette because I don't really have dullness on my face. I'm a teenager. Like, I don't think I really, really need that. And to buff this out, I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender Mini and my Sephora sponge. I don't, I don't know the name of it. First impressions, it does have a good amount of coverage. It doesn't just blend away into oblivion. If you guys are wondering um, about the difference between the Sephora blender and the Beauty Blender, well this one is a lot cheaper, but it, it's a lot more dense so it's not as soft as the Beauty Blender. But in my opinion, I think it does the job just fine. I've never re used an actual like, full size Beauty Blender, I've only ever used the mini. So I'm not going to say much as of now. but. This works just fine. I can tell you that. Okay, so now that the color credit is somewhat blended out, I don't want to blend it out too much so that it actually does its job, which is the color correct. 
so I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna be using is also by Rimmel. They also sent this to me. It's the Insta Flawless Perfecting Radiant Skin Tint. So I'm assuming it's like a tinted moisturizer and it's not gonna give much coverage. But they did send me some concealer, so I'm gonna be using that. Um, I've never used this before, so I'm hoping that they sent me a good color. If it's not, it's gonna be a little weird. I'm gonna do one side of my face using my Sephora blender and the other side of my face using a foundation brush. It smells like lotion, which is a tinted moisturizer, so. I'm just gonna squeeze some onto the back of my hand. Not a lot. I think that's enough. And that looks like a decent matte shade. I mean, they sent me the shade Light Medium. So I guess I'm just going to take my finger and whoa, dot it on my face. So I'm going to do dot, dot. Dot, oh, it's thick. Dot, dot. Is this too much? I don't know if it is too much. It's a skin tint, so it's not going to get much coverage, so... Not too concerned. Okay. That looks like enough. So I'm going to be blending out the left side of my face using a sponge, which is your guys' right. So, let's see how this goes. It's super radiant and has really light coverage. Whoa, that is actually like shiny. Oh my god. I don't know how this would go with my oily skin. Okay, so that is the um, left side of my face blended out with the beauty sponge. And as you can see, it is very, very shiny. It's super, super radiant. I look really, really dewy. I really want to powder my face really badly because I prefer a matte, matte look over a dewy look. But it's still really gorgeous. It has a really, really, I would almost say like no coverage to light coverage. Um, it is a skin tint. I didn't say it was going to give me like awesome coverage, but over the color corrector, I think it looks really nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go in with a foundation brush. I'm going to be using the Sephora VIB Rouge brush that they gave me when my mom got VIB Rouge. So I'm going to blend this out. Oh. It's giving me a little bit more coverage with the brush, actually. Yeah, it's giving me a lot more coverage with the brush. It's a little streaky, but I'm a, that's probably just the brush. Brushes will inevitably give you streaks, but you can always finesse it in. You can't really tell on camera, but I feel like with the brush, I got a lot more coverage as opposed to the blending sponge because brushes don't soak up product like blenders do. Okay, I'm looking really, really radiant. They, d they did not lie when they said this is a radiant skin tint. Um, I'm going to try and build this up to see if it is buildable. So I'm going to squeeze out just a little bit more. and dot this on my face, just a little bit more, in the areas where I want more coverage. Let's see if this can maybe build it up to like light to medium coverage. What I like about it is that when I blend it out, it's not taking off the foundation underneath. Which is nice, but I don't think it is building coverage that much. I'm just going to use my sponge for the rest of my face. 
because I don't want this like the brush the bristles of the brush to move around the product that's underneath okay I see something I don't know if the camera's picking this up but there's like some patches here a product that is just not blending out and now that we're zoomed in so closely you can see that it's super super light coverage and really 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 and almost like it's almost like greasy hmm not too big of a fan of that I feel like I just went on a run <laughs> just kidding, I don't run. So this is what my face looks like after about one and a half coats. Okay, I don't can't say that I like how my skin's looking right now. I prefer to be a lot more matte, cause especially like here, I look super super oily. The the skin tint does feel super super lightweight. It feels like I don't have anything on my skin, which is nice. If you are someone with dry skin, I feel like this would be a product more for you. But if you have oily skin like me, I do not think this would be for you. But I'm going to save all my final thoughts towards the end of the video. The next product I have is the Hashtag Inside Conceal and Contour Palette. And um, it is a concealer, highlighter, and contour palette. And can I say that that contour shade is so warm. I do not think that this is a suitable color for many skin tones. Um, it is really, really warm. Like, this is like... I feel like this would even be too warm for bronzer for me, like, let alone contour. Because contour, you want your contour shade to be more cool tone, but this is just really warm. Um, we're just going to go with it. I'm going to go in with a, another concealer brush, and I'm going to conceal my under eyes. I'm going to go ahead and swatch these on my hand. Whoa, okay. Definitely shows that I've used it. So that's what the three look like. This is the highlighter, this is the concealer, and that is the contour. So I'm going to take the concealer shade on a flat concealer brush and I'm just going to paint this underneath my eyes. Whoa, let drop it. Let's see if this is light enough for me. Okay, I think this is a pretty good color. It is really smooth, almost as if it's like whipped. Um, but I'm just excited to see the amount of coverage it gives. It's super, it's going on super, super smoothly. So it, it gives me, um... It makes me worry that this will slide around or crease and lucky for me I don't really have like creases underneath my eyes because um, maybe it's an Asian thing, I don't know. But maybe this will move around, get shiny, I'm hoping it doesn't. As you can see I like to use a lot of concealer. So I'm going to bounce this out with my beauty sponge. Actually, coverage is not bad. I'd say it's a good medium coverage. I'm kind of nervous to go into the contour shade. And they did send me a contour stick and I think I'd rather use that. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip the contour shade. Because personally, I think it's just way too warm to be using on your face as contour. Ooh, this is very, very luminous. But that's okay, because they sent me a powder. So the powder they sent me is the Insta Fix and Matte. Matte, I like that word. Translucent powder. And this is, I thought this was really cool, because it's, like it's like just a regular compact. And... I don't know if you can see, but there are like little hashtags engraved into the powder, which I thought was kind of creative and cool. The compact, it, the powder itself is white. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Just a simple one, two, three. And it is white. 
but it does like doesn't really show up. So I need clean brushes. This is kind of dirty, but that's okay. So I'm just going to swirl my brush in there. Oh, that's a. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that is a lot of fallout. Please tell me the camera's picking it up, but th there's a lot of kickback to this. But what I like about it is that I'm swirling this a lot, and the compact literally looks the same. Let's mattify this face. Okay, so I feel like I put a lot of powder on. I just kind of like went in, and I de it definitely did mattify my face a little, my face a lot. And I am liking how this is looking. I do feel like it's a little white, and I'm scared it's gonna have like flashback. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna test that out right now. I'm just gonna be using my phone, and I have the iPhone 7, so the camera quality is pretty good. I'm just going to take a picture using flash. Um, as you can see, it does have a bit of flashback. It's not terrible where you look like a ghost, but you can definitely tell that I'm wearing makeup, and yeah, I do look very, very white. It's not terrible. It's not the worst, but it's definitely there. So be mindful if you're going to be using this powder, and you know you're going to take a lot of flash pictures, just stick with something that doesn't have any flashback. And lastly, Rimmel sent me their Duo Contour Stick, Contour Highlight Stick, and I'm super, super excited to try this out. It's still in its, like, wrapper, so I'm gonna unwrap it on camera. There we go. Oh. I love that. Get off. Okay, so it's just like regular contour stick and take off the lids. I'm gonna show you guys how much is in each side. So that is what it looks like. You do get a good amount of product. Um, yeah, for the price, if this is good, I feel like this is a good amount of product. Let's go ahead and try this out. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the contour side of the stick. I really like how, see, the tip is super, super, like, thin, so it can really define your cheekbones. Not too much. Let's see. Let's blend it out. And it has, like, no coverage. Yeah, that is not a lot of coverage at all. I can, go, I definitely can go a lot more generous with this product, so I'm, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going on my forehead, too. I have a pretty big forehead. Oh, I think I know why it doesn't really show up, because this is not dark enough for me. At least, I don't think so. And it is a little warm. This contour stick is a bit warm for my taste. I like it when my contour sticks are really, really cool toned. I'm going to do my nose contour. And let's, where's my sponge?
it does blend out super easily and it's really sheer, which, I don't know. I'm gonna go in with the highlight side of the stick and just highlight my face again because who doesn't love to go I'm gonna swatch this on my wrist I don't know if you can you can't really see it it's quite not really Play there if it do, it doesn't ha it's not blinding that's for sure which honestly I don't mind right now this look is so radiant that I just I think I'm gonna stick with the matte look but oh um, yeah you can't you can barely see this it does have some really light glitter shim shimmer in it but it's barely noticeable Yeah, you can barely see it. Okay, so that's the contour and highlight stick on my face and um if I'm going to be honest, I don't really see a difference. The contour side was just not dark enough for me, not pigmented enough, and too warm for my taste. Um, I feel like they could have done a better job making them a little bit more pigmented and cooler toned, but if you are someone who wants a light contour and you are perhaps paler than me and have a warm skin tone, I think this is going to work for you. Uh, the highlight stick, um, I honestly don't think it made that much of a difference. If you want a very subtle highlight which I'm not really into uh, you can definitely try this out I'm pretty sure it's like what ten dollars that's it um, even if it doesn't work out for you it's only ten dollars and yeah uh, I think I want to finish up my makeup with a lip color I'm gonna finish off my look with some lipstick and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Sugar Mama Okay, so you had just witnessed me trying on all these products, and now let's get into my final thoughts. So first off, we have the color correcting palette. Now, I actually really like this. It did give me a good amount of coverage on my redness and the darkness underneath my eyes. I actually, I like this, you know? And this ought to be, like, really, really cheap. So if you don't have a color corrector and you want to get into uh, makeup more, I highly suggest this one. I actually really, really like it. Next, we have the Tinted Moisturizer. Now, it's cute. Um, it's has a really, really light coverage. Also, it is very radiant. Even after the powder, as you can see, I am still super, super luminous, which is cool if you like a dewy, natural look and if you have dry, normal to dry skin. I'm going to say if you have oily skin like me, uh, do not go buy this. This is just way too radiant. Uh, it's very, very lightweight, but just it's too dewy. Ugh. I do not think I will be reaching for this that much because... For me, I'm, I'm weird. I either go for no coverage or full full coverage. So I'm not really into the whole tinted moisturizer thing. It did. I I did like how it looked on my skin, but I just know that in like not even an hour, 30 minutes, I'm gonna look like a oil slick, and it's gonna drive me crazy. Even when I'm not wearing any face makeup, my skin gets so so oily. So I know that product like this will not work out for me. But if you have normal to dry skin, you can try this out. If you're into like a light coverage, really really natural. And yeah, I guess it's gonna blend it out nicely. Don't really have much to say about it. And next we have the concealer palette. Now, 
Um, the middle concealer I actually like. Um, it had medium co medium to full coverage. It blended out nicely, and I think it looks pretty good underneath my eyes. The contour shade. I didn't even try this. I I know I'm not gonna like this. It's way too warm, and I just I wouldn't use it to contour. The highlighting shade didn't really make much of a difference, at least I don't think, but it's, it blended out nicely, I guess. So this is Jean approved. Next, we have the translucent powder. Now, this powder, it's it's cute. Um, can't say it's my favorite. It did not do that great of a job mattifying. I'm assuming that it's supposed to keep your makeup in place, but as a mattifier, it does not do that great of a job. As you can see, I'm still super luminous, and I put a lot on. Also, this does flashback, so this is not Jean approved. I feel like Rimmel has powders that are a lot better than this one, so definitely go check out Rimmel's other powders because this one just wasn't, wasn't my fit. It didn't mattify me enough, and it did flashback, so this is not Jean approved. And lastly, we have the contour stick. This is, if you've been watching this video, I know you can tell that this is not Jean approved. The contour side just wasn't pigmented, it was too warm for my taste, and the highlighting side just didn't do much for me. Um, I feel like if they just, just made the shade, just made the shade a little cooler, I feel like it would be so much better. But yeah, this was a bummer because I was so, so looking forward to this, because this is the first contour stick I've ever tried. But yeah, this was just kind of a dud for me. And that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this. Just as a recap, the concealer and the color correcting palette are Jean approved. The other ones are not. Just remember, if I don't approve something, but this is like your holy grail product, by all means, go use it. I'm happy that it's working for you. I mean, at the end of the day, we none of us want none of us want to waste money. We all want products that will last and that will work. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Rimmel, for sending me all these products to review. I actually really like some of these products that you sent me, and I look forward to maybe working with you guys in the future. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, check out my affiliate links, and give this video a thumbs up because I took time out of my busy schedule to film this video because if you guys don't know, I have AP English and AP Math this semester, which... <sighs> is killing me but that is for another video to tell so yeah bye guys